What's up guys? Today we're watching You Season 4, Episode 2. So, last episode we saw that Joe's in the UK, and I thought he was still there, you know, going after Marianne, but we found out, like, during that whole episode that he actually ended up letting her go and everything after she already knew his whole deal and she wanted nothing to do with him. And I was kind of surprised that he let her go, but... But we have an even bigger problem now because apparently Joe killed someone but it was just the other person that's like framing him and we're just trying to figure out who's actually going to be the one framing him because from all the people that we met last episode they don't seem like they could be killers but maybe they could they just have a good way of hiding it like Joe does because obviously they don't think he's a killer either but yeah I want to know like who could possibly be framing him like i already said i thought it was love maybe maybe not hopefully because i want her back but also she might be dead we're still figuring that out but yeah i want to figure out what's going to happen in this episode so let's get into it <laughs> One of you fuckers sent me those texts. <laughs> One of you is watching me. Is that the dude from... Wait, did we see him last episode? Because he's from Gotham. So, which one are you? <laughs> you are, Jonathan. You look sick. Oh, I'm fine. What if it's the book, dude? What if he's the one that is, like, framing him? If you don't, I will. You steal my spotlight. And I murder you. <laughs> <laughs> to Simon. I'm joking about murder. Hmm. That's gonna be his first suspect. Is this someone's been in this house as he's gone or maybe that was just slipped under the door presence is requested at a night to die for hmm. call me paranoid but you managed to stash a corpse in my flat maybe that's not all you planted you're not wrong. I would probably think about that, too. When did you put this on my phone? Sometime. Drinks! The black hole of the night in question, you were there. So they would have had to be there in order to download that app. So it couldn't have been love unless she went, like, undiscovered. Cause like he was like really drunk so like who else would like recognize her oh, this is a personal project oh too bad i fucking love who done it you don't think the style's just a bit formulaic oh my god you're one of them <laughs> still zeroing in and i just i need to understand how these work well like the tropes I can tell you. This arrogant 19 year old is an angel sent to help me. <laughs> and now he's thinking she's a help. Well, then it's all about why the victim was murdered because someone obviously wanted them dead enough to plan it and then enact with violent passion. Honestly, we already know that. I thought we agreed you'd never call this number again. That was before you set me up. Come again? The texts, Malcolm Harding. I don't think it could have been him, because I mean, you didn't see him have your phone at all to like download that app. I wish you an end to suffering and the roots of suffering, and fuck you very much for making me destroy this perfectly good phone. Damn. Hello again. Right after, right after he just hung up. Sneaky. I'm learning a lot about you. Paranoid. Loner by nature. 
You're a fucking stalker, wherever you are. Can you really say that, though? Because so are you. Figure out who you are, stop this, and get back to some shred of my... Your name isn't Jonathan Moore. Fuck. It is so weird to find him in the middle of a murder mystery when he's usually the one murdering. Exactly who I need to find you. Did I get here just in time? It's not gonna be anything. Oh, don't! Don't, Vicky, he's harmless! I heard a scream, that's all. <laughs> well... It wasn't anything. I don't know that I've ever been seen so completely. What the hell did I say? It's clear something brought us together to be friends. Something. It was just so weird that she was just touching his face like that. And listen, it's a nightclub. It's not Theranos, buddy. Relax. Come on. <clears throat> tea? Bella, tea! Okay, so she didn't... Okay, so there's problems between them two. Kate is Phoebe's dear friend. It's her big night. We can't have any random beardos showing up in some diffusion line. Ouch. Hey, Vic. Vic. They're gonna get him. Um... So they're gonna, like, help him with suits. Don't argue. It's Phoebe's world. We're all just living in it. What? That kind of seemed, like, restrained. And here are several suspects who've never worked a day in their lives. Ah, if it isn't the penniless professor. Like Connie, <laughs> the horse guy. What the hell? Great, I'm in the West End revival of Mean Girls. Phoebe sent me. Interesting. Phoebe. Now he has nothing to say. I guess that stare is as close to an opening as I'm getting. You nervous about your show? No. He is so weird. Well, Jonathan, if Phoebe has adopted you, all I can say is lucky you. If you hurt her in any way, I'll cremate your dick. But genuinely, congratulations. That was... That's one of the weirdest things to fucking say to someone. Kate seems like the type to have backups of everything. Let's hope she's got a copy of Malcolm's office key. He just broke into her house. God damn. What, what are you doing? Shit. I, I was just leaving him a note because he missed office hours. Malcolm's girlfriend asked me to check if she left her wallet. We're neighbors and hence the... That shit just comes off like the top of his head. He's so like good at somewhat lying oh my god your face i've really just helped you haven't i <laughs> nadia's right i've been doing this wrong trying to get them to spill their guts to a stranger i have strengths i've not been leaning on i'm observant when adam opened sundry house it officially became his first project not to die before it started he's not exactly the black sheep of his family more you see what I mean about, like, literally most of the show just being, like, him narrating in his head? Like... Louis, the Sun King. Malcolm was talking about Adam. Thank you. Gasp. Thank you so it's much. Thursday. Thank you for coming. The fact that he remembered that, I did not remember seeing that in the notebook. This is like his one stalking session where he's like not wearing a hat. Please, this one, man. Not the secret I was expecting. Oh, yeah. oh thank you. Oh, more. Give it to me. I never would have expected that. Okay. Oh, that's nice. What kind of book? It's a mystery. But really, it's about inequality. 
So he's really gonna tell everyone that he's writing a murder mystery book. I don't think murder, but mostly mystery. Payment. Needless to say, you're about to suffer from an extremely nasty bout of Alzheimer's. Damn. He just took that money and now he don't have it no more. Hold the door, hold the door, please. Smile, project wealth. Sorry, I'm just, I'm trying to avoid the whole scene. Do you mind? Be a doll. Be a doll, I fucking hate myself. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, God. And the suspects go at him, it's a good, hard look, unlike these NFTs. I'm sorry, it's not art. There he is. That's what the party's for. NFTs. Probably at Sundry House. Malcolm brought him the other night. Ah. Well, any friend of Malcolm and Kate's. Just Malcolm. Jonathan, nice to meet you. Rolled. She's making it like she's pointing out that they're not friends. And prime suspect, here we go. <laughs> Are you really so interested in an egg? You used to make a manatee. Should I invest in it? In this egg? Yeah. I mean, for 17,000 pounds, you get to crack the egg and see what's inside. Yolk. Oh my god. A fucking egg. If you killed Malcolm over blackmail, why are you warning me that he might blackmail me? You know what? Because he doesn't know he's dead. So... Egg you, Jonathan! Sir. Maybe it's not Adam. He really is buying an egg. Why are we staring so intently at this cat? He's here looking perfectly at home. Something about him doesn't add up. What do you think? I think I just fell in love with a cat. <laughs> you even have a tear. Like. Do say more. Oi! Simon! Fuck you! <laughs> what just happened? Oh. Tell him! Tell him! Get the fuck off me! You piece of shit! <laughs> Okay then. I didn't expect anyone. I didn't expect anyone to fucking like ruin something. But I mean, and he just goes with it. Together, you decide. Oh, it's part of the show. How wonderfully brilliant! <laughs> he really switched it up like that. That woman. I saw her. Really? Was it just now when she was ruining my life? I think I know where you can find her. Where do you think she would go after that? All you did was like see her. Like she let you in. That's it. No. There. How? How do you find her so quickly? And I did more than wash brushes. I painted those canvases. Bullshit. Prove it. Well, if I could, I wouldn't be here, would I? How would she be able to prove it? Like, remake it? He that no one would believe. It's my aunt's cat, Isis. Isis? Malcolm was writing about her. How was Malcolm writing about everyone? That's all I ever really wanted. And then he didn't. Fucked off. Vanished. Because he blackmailed Simon. So he had something on, like, everyone then. Because everyone fucking hated him. I, love I am not trying to get in your life. I know a grift when I see it. You are a hollow nobody with no life of his own. So do you know what? Good night. 
What if that makes him want to kill you now? He's trying to change his ways. But maybe, maybe, because you talk to him like that. Come on out, Simon. Simon's about to be dead. What do you want? That looked like man shoes, so now I'm kind of thinking it's not love. And two, so he's, so he's going to kill like everyone in the group? Oh, Jonathan. Oh, thank goodness. She can't possibly be you, right? Can't be. Oh, I was terrified you'd hear the awful news before you saw my text. She seems to be like the only one who likes jo Joe. I was about to call him Jonathan. Yeah, he, she seems like the only one that likes him. Besides the other dude, too. Malcolm's finger, Simon's ear. I don't understand it yet, but you've got a pattern. You know, Simon never did care to listen to people, though, did he? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a gout. They're really joking about it. Greece is different from them. I can't tell if he's better or secretly worse. I don't know why, it's just like... Him just saying that just makes me think he might be the killer. But I don't know, like... So much with the world, but with himself, then... No, he could have been... So I'm gutted he's dead. He sounds genuine. Yeah. Is he? Don't look like that, Jonathan. I'm fine. I just need a break. You have nothing to hide. Yes, I meant it. Wiltshire, 28 days. They're expecting your call, which you'll do today if you're serious. Is Kate helping her? I was just about to say, so she's helping her. Swore he knew my pain when he... He volunteered to read my pages and then just left me hanging. What if he, what if he reads her pages? My entire identity as an aspiring writer can just pause. It's fine. Look, I'm no Malcolm, but I would be happy to read your pages. I knew he was going to ask. Like, I, I had a feeling he would. So they, they found out about him. But I did it. Hello, Joe. You're kidding me, my God. It's like, whenever we saw I don't remember his name, whenever we saw the dude get killed or whatever. I saw, we saw the dude's shoes, jacket and shit, and it kind of just reminded me of like, what's his name? I keep forgetting everyone's name. The one, what's his name? The rich girl's boyfriend who was also in the play or whatever. Yeah, that dude, his, whatever, Bodyguard, whatever the dude, other dude was, the one that was in Gotham. I don't know his name, but that dude, it kind of seemed like it was him. Like, just the way he was. I don't know. It just made me think it was him, but I don't think it could be. But you can't rule out a possibility. But it's like, does he have motive? Maybe he does. But we just don't know. But it's like, I swear. I didn't think another person would die this episode, but like... So the first person they killed, they're pinning in on Joe, and the second one, they're just, they're just going through a list and killing everyone. So it's like, they can't pin that dude, like, killing that dude on Joe. So they're just doing it to show power, I guess. But it's just like, it's so weird that they know who he is. And like, I just want to know what made them think that he wasn't who he said he was. 
but it's like how do I even word this so they're like trying to pin shit on Joe even though like yeah they know he's a murderer but it's like imagine the like chances of that happening whenever you move to a new place and then like getting a murder pinned on you because they know that you're a murderer and then like they turn into a murderer like it's so weird that that's happening but I'm not I'm not gonna question it what's her name Kate I don't know how to feel about Kate I have moments where I hate her moments where she is actually kind of cool because like she's actually helping blue out but it's like why does she have to hide that she's like somewhat of a good person I don't know but honestly, I'm kind of glad that the dude that was killed in this episode was killed because he was just, I, I didn't like him. He was weird, but also, I don't even know how to describe him. He just didn't give me a good vibe. And I feel bad for his sister because I did like his sister. She's cool. But him, after hearing about what he did to Blue 2, I don't care about him too much. But with the pattern this is going at, I'm guessing next episode someone else is going to die. So I want to know who that's going to be. I don't think they're going to kill Kate. Maybe not yet. Because like, it's like a whole group. So Kate's in the group. Who would they kill next though? Would they kill the rich girl? Or maybe her boyfriend? Maybe one of them. I don't know. But I want to see who's going to die possibly next episode. So I guess come back for episode three. 